Na kwa sasa twende tukamwangazie huyu mwanamke ngangari, mwanamke bomba ni Masi Obiero. Huyu kama hujamfahamu ndiye mkenya wa kwanza katika historia kushiriki mashindano ya Olimpiki upande wa kinadada. Mwaka 2012 alikuwa kule London. Sikiliza taarifa yake hii kisha baadaye tunakuja kuingia katika e, ile ligi ya Caleb Amisi. Nakuwa tunazungumza na mwenyekiti na meneja wa ligi ile Talanta Mashinani tupate kujua kinaga ubaga kinachoendelea katika ligi ile itakayoisha mwezi Januari. Lakini kwanza Masi Obiero. Katika michuano ya Olimpiki ya London mwaka 2012, Masi Obiero alikuwa mkenya wa kwanza kushiriki katika mashindano ya unyanyaji vyuma na pia wa pili kutoka bara la Afrika. Ingawaje haikuwa shughuli rahisi kwake kufuatia upinzani mkali aliyoshuhudia akimaliza nafasi ya 13 kwenye kitengo cha kilo 69. Participating in sports has changed, changes everyone actually because you get to be very disciplined there's some things you have to do every day you have to be disciplined you have to be consistent in them not just do them one day and change the other day they have to be the same way every day yeah so it's changed me it's really helped me to it's really streamlined me in a way Akiwa sasa amestafu katika mashindano ya kulipwa Obiero mwenye umri wa miaka 42 ni mkufunzi Miongoni mwa wanafunzi wake utakutana na binti yake Natasha Okoth na mjukuu wake Chanel. Kwa ufupi familia yake shamrithi. I started to train my younger daughter Chanel. She's very interested. She always goes with me for training, for all the competition. She's like my assistant. In fact, she's always motivating me, mom, you should do this. Now today you should aim for 200 kilos. So whenever I see her with me in the gym, I always hit my best. Chanel mjukuu wake wa umri wa miaka miwili, ana kipaji akiwa na kilo 29 ana uwezo wa kunyanyua hadi kilo sitini za vyuma bibi yake yuko naye unyo unyo kumnoa kisawa sawa I was very happy so I saw her at the TV I was very happy and I said one day when me I'll go to Olympics Mwanamke huyu Ngangari amewajibikia mchezo huu kwa miaka 20. Kikwazo kikuu kwake ilikuwa ni unyanyapaa kutoka kwa wanaume, ingawaje alitia masikio pamba na kufanya mambo yake. Because you get to travel a lot, you get to interact different communities around the world. You get to meet different people from all different walks of life and you get to know their, how they living and what they encountering in their life. So it's a big thing, it's a big it's like education actually. Huku janga la korona likivuruga mipango ya wengi nchini kwake yeye limempa fursa ya kuimarisha mazoezi ya mwanae na mjukuu pamoja na kuwapatia ukuruba kama familia. It has given us a good bonding especially learning about each other more and uh, in, in, in considering the fact that we're doing the same sport it has really built us up together. Katika mchezo uliotawaliwa na mipandikizi ya wanaume, Masi Obiero alikula nao sahani moja, akashamiri na kuacha historia ya daima itakayosalia kwenye mchezo wa unyanyaji vyuma. Ahmed Bahaj, KTN Michezo. Masi Obiero hivi sasa eh, binti yake pamoja na mjukuu wake wote wapo ndani Chantel pamoja na Chanel wale e, wote sasa hivi wanashiriki mash, e, katika mchezo ule wa unyanyaji vyuma. Ye ndio mwanamke wa kwanza kutoka hapa nchini Kenya kushiriki mashindano ya Olimpiki mwaka 2012 kule London na vile vile pia mwanamke wa pili barani Afrika kushiriki katika mashindano ya unyanyaji vyuma Kenya kwa kweli ni jungu kuu la historia. Zungumza nami hivi sasa ni wakati wako kufunga magoli United wataibuka na ushindi dhidi ya Brighton. Ni Dennis kutoka Isiolo Brighton moja Manchester United mawili Osborne kutoka Ruiru anasema itakuwa Manchester United uh, moja uh, mawili Brighton moja alafu in favor of Manchester United na